have a review for you guys. Um, a little boot review. So here we go. But yeah, so here are the Adler. So Adler is a brand from, from Japan. It's a small, uh, I guess, niche brand. Um, it's uh, These are the Adler Yama Tokyo. You can see that. Um, so I had to shout out, first and foremost, I had to shout out uh, Noah Kavanaugh and Andrew Lockhart from Lockhart Boot Blog. Uh, they have reviewed these boots and I, uh, this, so that's where I saw them. So I'm really, really thankful for them uh, and for reviewing them because it's a boot that I've, a brand that I've never heard of and a boot that I'm, that really intrigued me, interests me. So, uh, so yeah, let's get into it. So this is the box, pretty cool box, um, different type of box. Uh, than what we kind of see with Nike and Adidas. Um, here, they sent me uh, an extra pair of insoles. I guess this is their brand insoles uh, in the boots. Adler, nothing special, just normal, soft, uh, pretty soft insoles. Uh, sent me a nice little note for anyone uh, that can read Japanese. Here it is. Don't know what it says. I tried to get my friend to to uh, translate it for me, but he never responded to my text, so that's sick. Um, as we can see here, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's, uh, it says number 2,705. So uh, like I said, it's a small niche brand. So maybe this is uh, this is the, the item that, or the product number for these boots. Uh, so it's pretty cool to see that um, if that's the case, that my boots are, the the 207 2705th pair of boots that they've made um this is the bag that they gave me pretty cool bag standard bag um it's interesting because on the videos that i've seen with uh from noah and from andrew they uh well especially from noah uh they he received a different type of bag um different type of material so Maybe I'm gonna have to order it myself uh, one of these days so that I can get that that nicer looking bag. Uh, but this bag's cool, uh, nonetheless. It's, it's I mean it's always good to get a, a boot bag. Um, so yeah, here are the boots. Um, synthetic leather. Uh, I'm not typically a synthetic leather type of type of player or type of guy, but uh, I, I prefer more synthetic boots such as the vapor 15 phantom gx uh those types of those kind of boots uh however i did like the uh the new tiempos and those are synthetic leather so i'm really interested to see how these feel these this this leather feels a lot different it feels uh more premium than the nike synthetic leather but i still i really like i really enjoyed that tempo um as you can see it's pretty classic pretty basic um conical studs so hopefully that's good um we got here a different type of insole real this is real line um they feel a lot bulkier more more padding here down the midfoot um so we'll see i mean maybe this is a brand that they are partnered with um good snapback you can see here Pretty cool. Um, like I said, it just um, with my injury, I rushed my Achilles. Kind of went on a <laughs> down a rabbit hole of, of looking at different types of boots, um, and I saw these, and these really intrigued me. I saw this pair. This is a Yamatoki, like I said, um, and I saw Noah Cavanaugh review a pair of uh, Yadagarashu and Horenzo, and those are the boots I'm kind of trying to get, but from from the same brand from Adler. Um, but those are sold out, um, so hopefully they can uh, refill those boots. So I can try and try them on, um, but or I can't try them on right now. But in the summer, I'll, I'll have a better understanding of these boots to give a better review. Um, but yeah, like I said, I put a, uh, I, I injured my Achilles, ruptured my Achilles, so I'm really interested in trying these different types of boots uh, that probably will give me. A better foot uh, foot health. Uh, not saying that the the boots that I was wearing uh, on the day are the reason that I ruptured my Achilles, but uh, just wanted to check out some different types of boots. Uh, I did put this one on my right foot because uh, my left foot's uh, no go, obviously. Um, 
and they felt really good, really snug. Um, they did not feel overly tight. Uh, like I said, this is, or I don't know if I said it, this is a seven and a half. So I went the full size down. I'm normally eight and a half. Uh, these are UK six and a half, US seven and a half, uh, Euro 40 and a Japan 25.5 centimeters. Um, I, there's no, I, I assume these are unisex, so don't, I'm not saying these are strictly for, for men. Um, but uh but yeah this this boot is feels really nice i'm really looking forward to trying it out uh sometime in the summer hopefully uh but yeah so this is just a quick quick little review uh view of, of these boots so when I, I got them recently uh price point's amazing uh it was like 156 around there uh in total uh including tax and shipping from from japan they got here in a week so so far, everything's been really good. Uh, just gotta try them out, and when I do, I'll give a better, I'll give better insight on the boots uh, when that when that's possible. Um, but until then, I'll see you guys later. Uh, I will be posting some other type of content. Uh, uh, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. So again, Adler Yama Tokyo, uh, check them out. Yeah, check out. Uh, Check out Noel Cavanaugh, uh, his page, he has a lot more videos on, on this, uh, this boot and uh, other boots like I, I mentioned, uh, the Yadagarashu, the Horenzo, uh, and the, there was another one that I can't remember the name of. Um, check out Andrew Lockhart's boot blog, uh, he has a lot of reviews there too, um, cool reviews. Um, so yeah, um, we'll see what we do in the next, next few videos, so yeah, until next time. Nos vemos a raza. Peace.